It was an auspicious occasion for the Ministry of Agriculture and the Government of Taiwan. The modern facility at Union is seen as a boon for a floundering industry that peaked in the 1980s as the main engine of economic growth in St. Lucia. The Tissue Culture Laboratory was funded by the Taiwanese government. Tissue culture refers to the growth of plants in an artificially controlled environment. Ambassador Tom Cho says the method is economically sound. Uh, the tissue culture is to use a cell of the plant to produce a mass quantity of plant which look identical to, to their uh, mother plant. For business considerations, the scientists uh, choose healthy, good quality, and profitable plant as a mother plant for mass productions. The goal of our tissue culture lab projects, we are going to mass product, uh, produce orchid, banana seedling, and other profitable crops. Cho says many profitable crops will be grown at the facility to fully diversify the agricultural product. However, he maintains orchids will be the chief crop. Taiwan now is the world's largest orchid export country uh, in the world. In the year of 2007, we export about 80 million uh, butterfly orchid uh, to the world market. We create about 100, um, 100 million EC dollar uh, value uh, for our foreign exchange reserve. Local farmers will purchase plants at the facility for resale. Agriculture Minister Ezekiel Joseph gave the assurance the necessary infrastructure will be put in place to ensure farmers maximize returns on their investment. Prime Minister Stevenson King had effusive praise for the socio-economic contribution the Taiwanese government has made to the island since the reinstatement of diplomatic relations. We have seen that demonstration in the area of community development. We have seen it by through infrastructural programs, infrastructural development at the community level. We have seen it today as we recognize the tremendous contribution that is being made to the agricultural sector. Agricultural officials say they are under no illusions that the tissue culture lab will be the panacea for the ailing industry. They are optimistic the facility will play a major role in increasing production, output, while also strengthening the island's food security. The Taiwanese government is also providing technical assistance and expertise on the still novel concept of tissue culture here in St. Lucia.